everyone welcome to Eden Secret today we're making some gorgeous love spell cupcake soaps so I'm um, that's all all my oils melted into the pan let's see what the temperature is 37 degrees centigrade now the oils are warmer than my lye um, I like to have them so they are just melted because remember we live in a cold country and and I don't like it if the the palm oil and the coconut oil solidify at all so they are warm let's add our lye into the oils I'm using my KitchenAid blender today. I just want to show you that it actually has some dials on the top um, and you can twist them to go faster, faster or slower. So it's got five different speeds. But I'm just using speed number one because even that's quite fast. If I can get it twisted back around now, my hands are slippy. There we are. Now I always blend my oils not to trace but I just blend them until they're nice and opaque because I want to blend in my fragrances and my colours and everything and if I over blend all the way to full trace then it's you know it's not going to give me much time to work with my colours and my fragrances so just opaque is fine with me. As soon as we're at opaque stage, I blend it for another minute and then we're ready to pour the first layer. The temperature is 38 degrees centigrade. Okay, for the basis of the cupcakes, we're going with a nice pale pink. This time we're going with Mineral Makeup's Pink 201P. Oh, there's already a spoon in it. So we're just going to put a tiny little bit in there because I do want them nice and pale. not that pale so I'm going to put the same amount in again I think we could maybe dare to go just the same amount again so it's literally just that much on the end of the spoon. Tiny bit. About the same colour as the gingerbread men we made. So 
So the Love Spell fragrance we're using today is Love Potion from Grace Fruit. So we're just going to blend that in. What's great about this fragrance is it doesn't discolour and it doesn't accelerate. It's an excellent, excellent fragrance that you would say soaps beautifully. Right, now it's time to pour. So instead, we're going to use a bit of Ocean Blue from Micah Mama. Just try that much for now. Just wait for that to thicken up then we're going to use the round nozzle again for the next layer okay so we're using the Swilton 17 millimeter nozzle piping nozzle again I'm just scraping this down, pushing it down into the piping bag, hopefully so we don't get so many um, air bubbles because we're using that round nozzle again. Let's pipe, shall we? So we'll pipe all the centre blobs in first. nice and gently around the outside for the next layer now and this layer I really do want it like even paler than the base so we're just going to try a little bit of pink fragrance in there as well wonderful And we're going to be using the Wilton 1M today. I'm waiting for this to thicken up. I just want to say thank you to Maria, Louisa, 
Melendez Laurie. Just thank you so much. I'm glad I was able to help you. And if you have a channel or anything, I'll put a link to that in the description box below the video. Thanks so much for watching. Really grateful. Okay, so we still need to put a blob in the centre again. And then just go around once, twice, into the centre and then out on the diameter. I just think this looks so pretty with this very, very pastel pink. doing is um, any soap that I've got left over in the piping bag I've just been leaving it in the piping bag to saponify and then the next day take it out and just pop it in a, a food bag and then it'll do for soap door later on I just don't want to end up with loads of soap door that's all uh, seems like I've got quite a lot of it at the moment they are Super pretty, aren't they? Pink and blue just look so, so gorgeous together. You can see the difference in some of the bases. How some are a hotter pink and some are a paler pink. Which do you like the best? The hotter or the paler? I love the pale on the top. I just think that looks so, so pretty. And I just love that Wilton 1M piping nozzle. And they smell delicious too. Really, really nice. I'm quite lucky now. You know, I've had many mist fragrances over the years. But I've been doing this such a long time now that I'm happy with all the fragrances I've got. Obviously, some I like more than others. Um, and this is a really, really nice one. Okay, as usual. We'll have another sort vid another video coming up very, very soon here at Eden Secret. And I just want to wish you all well and thank you all for watching. And let's hope 2021 is a lot better than 2020. I'll see you all very soon. Bye bye for now.